scored what, 25 points? Uh -huh. No problem, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> Are you feeling a little wee bit of regret? Little, no, because I think they gave us a great year. You know, we've all been talking about it at the water cooler. Everywhere you go, folks have been talking about it, all excited about it. So this is just my way of saying, hey, thanks for a great year. And I still support the team. And, hey, next year will be our year. So, you know, nothing to get all down Heroes. about. True fan. And besides, I really look cool with a bald head. <laughs> yeah. Outside right now, we got... <laughs> <laughs> we want to do that all day, huh? We got a partly sc cloudy sky and 71 degrees. Wind from the southwest at 5 and humidity 72%. No rainfall today, but we'll see the possibility of some rain coming our way over the next couple of days. Here's a view from space. You can see that big counterclockwise swirl to the clouds down over the southeast. This is what is left of what was Hurricane Allison this morning. It made landfall down over the Florida Panhandle, brought five to six inches of rainfall. Still quite a bit of rain over the southeast, but the storm is moving northeastward, so it will be moving out to sea. We'll get a few high, thin clouds from that, and that's basically it here in central Indiana. We're watching some scattered thunderstorms develop back out over the high plains, and that's going to bring us the possibility of a few evening thunderstorms late tomorrow. Normally at this point in the year, we should have just about 17 inches of moisture. We're running just below that on the rainfall scale, and there is more rainfall on the way tomorrow and for the next couple of days. Checking the map right now, you'll see Allison down over the southeast. High pressure gave us a mix of clouds and sunshine for today. What we're watching right now is a big storm system back out over the plains. It'll sag down over us tomorrow, so thunderstorms are likely over the northern half of Indiana for tomorrow. Then high pressure will push this storm northward on Wednesday, so we'll have fair skies on Wednesday. But there's a cold front that's going to come through us Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, so that'll bring showers and thunderstorms on through the end of the week, but temperatures are going to stay on the mild side. Well, coming up in the second half of Nightcast Weather, we'll recap today's stats, and then we'll check the forecast for tomorrow and for the next few days, so stay tuned. Chris Wright's forecast is approved by the American Meteorological Society. Who needs